Hi students, this is Mr. Yao. Today we're going to talk about 3.1 where we'll learn how to convert decimals to fractions. First, let's have a look at a special kind of decimal, repeating decimal. There are two different ways to write repeating decimals. The first way is we use a repeating bar. So whichever digit is repeating, we put a bar on top of it. That, for example, 5.67, 67 repeating basically means 5, 6, 7, 6, 7, 6, 7. So the 6, 7, since they are under the bar, that's repeating. And the second way to write it, just whichever digit is repeating, we write it. Then we put dot, dot, dot after it. Now let's see how we can change repeating decimal to fraction. This is the shortcut way but it only works when there's no whole number and all the numbers are right after the decimal point. There's no extra digits. First, we put the number, means remove the decimal in the numerator, so on top of the fraction. Next, we find the place value of the last repeating digit and put that number in the denominator and then subtract one. Lastly, we just simplify the fraction and check. And here's another way to remember the second step. However many digits are repeating after the decimal point, then however many nines we put. For example, 0.4545 repeating. We can actually just put it as 4, 5, because we see there are only two digits repeating, so we put it over two nines. You want to look at the original way to actually deal with step two. It's basically saying there are two de uh, decimal places, so that's the hundredth place. It should be 100 minus 9, still 45 on the top. That kind of gives you the same thing. Lastly, we just need to simplify the fraction. The top and bottom divided by 9, so we got a 5 and 11. So it's 5 over 11. Next example, we can see 189 is repeating. So we use the original y, original way, that is the thousands place. So it's a thousand minus one, which basically is because there are three digits repeating. So we put one, eight, nine on the top, and we put three nines on the bottom. Now we can simplify them, divide everything by nine first. So we got one, 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 and the top would be 21. We can see they can both be divided by three again, so that's seven, and that is going to be 37. Finally, seven over 37. Now let's try a few more examples. Same thing, 57 over 99, they can all be divided by 3, so 33 on the bottom and 19 on the top. 19 over 33. Next, 216 repeating, so we put 216 over 999. And we can see the top can first be divided by 3, which is 72, Bottom is 3, 3, 3. Then we can see the top can be divided by another 3, 24. The bottom is 1, 1, 1. Divided by another 3, the top is 8. Bottom is 37. So it simplifies to be 8 over 37. Next, 0.3726 repeating. We put 3726. Since there are four digits repeating, we put it over four nice. They can all be divided by a 9, so we divide by 9, 1, 1, 1, 1, and the top divided by 9 is going to give us 4, 1, 4. And there's nothing else we can actually divide, so that's going to be 4, 1, 4 over 1, 1, 1, 1. Next, let's talk about how we can actually change from decimal to fraction. Here are the steps. Put a number, we remove the decimal in the numerator, and then we find the place value of the ending digit and put that number in the denominator. So this time, since it's now repeating, we are not going to subtract that one. We're just going to use the place value. So for example, number one, point three. That is called a tenth digit. So we're going to remove the decimal. So just leave the three on the top. Since it's called a tenth place, we're going to put a 10 on the bottom. And 3 over 10, there's nothing to simplify, so that is our final answer. Number 2, 4, 5. We're going to repeat, move the decimal point. Since that is the hundredth place, we're going to put 100 on the bottom. 
they, the top and bottom can both be divided by 5, so that's leaving us a 9 and a 20. Simplify to be 9 over 20. Next, 2, 8, 3. That is the thousands place, so we can put 1,000 on the bottom. And that cannot be simplified, so that is it. Last one, remove the decimal point, we got 22. Since this is the tenths place, we're going to put it over 10. If both the top and bottom are even, divided by 2, we got 11 and 5. So final answer 11 over 5. Now we can have a look at how to change from fraction to decimal. We just divide the top number by the bottom number. You just type in your calculator. So for example, number 1, 3 over 5, we just type it as 3 divided by 5. And that is going to give us 6. That's how we change into decimal. Next, 2 over 3 is going to be 2 divided by 3, which when you type into the, your calculator is going to be 0. 0.6, 6, 6, and keeps on going. So the question asks you around, say 100th place, since that is a 6, you're going to round it up. It's going to be 0.67. Next is 4 over 11. So we type in your calculator as 4 divided by 11. That's going to be 0 0.36, 36, keep on repeating. If your question asks you to round, then we look at it as a 3. We're going to round down, so it's 0.36. Last one, 3 over 8. You can type it as 3 divided by 8. Type in your calculator, that's going to give you 0.37. Five. That's everything for 3.1. Thank you.